I like the texture. I like the play of light. The time of day, the season, it's always changing. You can walk along a sidewalk that's bare and gray. You put a few pieces of sculpture in and all of a sudden, you're having an experience, an interactive experience with art. One of the first places where we put art um, in public space is here in Healdsburg on the Foss Creek Trail. It started out with a couple of pieces and it's just grown. Something that you wander upon by accident, something you go to see on purpose, you bring your family or your kids, or a place for you to go and take a moment. The wonderful thing about art in the outdoors is that there aren't rules. There's no museum guard saying, no, don't touch. We work with artists to help them interact with the cities. We work with artists to help them create their dreams. One of our values is we work hard to try to get artists financial support for their work. These kinds of pieces are very expensive to build and this is their living and we think that they need to be supported. They've found a way where they never say no to artists. Uh, it's always yes. We like mentoring young artists that are getting their start, help teach them about geometry, how math is important when you build sculpture. If I just have a drawing and a small maquette and an idea, the, the smart people here at the Voight Sculpture Foundation, they know how to make it monumental. The um, city of Healdsburg was the first partner that we joined with. We worked with Santa Rosa Junior College, both the art departments and the engineering departments. Also with the city of Petaluma, we have a very strong partnership with Paradise Ridge as well. Paradise Ridge Winery has been a fantastic partner with us. They have a beautiful property up there. They have people visiting all the time. They can do the maintenance and all the other logistics that are really important. People can visit seven days a week, no cost. It creates an educational environment for kids to experience these sculptures, get inspired and understand that art is not confined to the walls of a museum. The Temple of Remembrance, working with David Best, was an incredible experience. I think it was about two and a half, three months of solid welding by two or three guys. The layering, the intricacy, the emotion, and the strength that went into that piece. When you go and interact with that, it's a very powerful experience. Part of that power is independent of the sculpture. It is the energy that people have brought to that piece. It takes this kind of energy to make art happen, but really, it takes cash. Currently, we're looking to raise some money to do this next show that's at Paradise Ridge. For the bandsaw blades, for the chop saws, for the cutting wheels. 20 sculptors at Paradise Ridge's 20th anniversary. 20 artists up and coming and emerging artists. For the wire feed, for the gas, for the gloves. If we get 500 people to give a little bit, it makes a big deal, it makes a huge difference. $60 for a spool of wire will keep a welder going for a month. We want to celebrate sculpture. You can help be a part of that. You can bring your friends and say, look what I helped to provide here. It takes people who believe in it. We really invite you to share this vision of publicly accessible art, open seven days a week, free to anyone to enter. It is a cost, but the end result is, is really uh, awe-inspiring. <laughs>